I'm Zach, and this is my wife, Emily, and this is our son, Max. We built our first house entirely by ourselves, and now we're working on our next project, a small waterfront cabin on a lake in East Texas. So subscribe and follow along. So we're uh, starting to frame out down here in our little basement room, and uh, my brother Ben is here helping me. Brother we're gonna, ben. brother Ben. We're gonna see how much we can get done. Um, should go pretty quick. So we're about to build this first wall for this section over here. Yeah, just pretty straightforward wall building stuff. So we've got uh, three walls up. And, well, really it's just two walls, but those are two individual walls over there. And uh, yeah, just gotta do this little one and then this big wall here. And then all those other ones.
I'm working on the stairs right now and I'm forming up a little pad that's going to be the landing for the uh, for the stairs. So I kind of had to figure out uh, the height that I wanted it at um, so I could kind of start to calculate uh, how long the stringer is going to be and then I just used a online stair calculator and that kind of told me how the length of the stringer and the uh, total run so I was able to get this in a uh, good position to where we'll have about a foot of a step before the stringer starts and I left a little bit of I made it a little bigger than it needed to be just so I have some wiggle room but yeah it should only take a few bags so I'm gonna go ahead and get started mixing it up All right, it's the next day and my little pad has cured. It turned out okay. Now I'm working on laying out the stringers and uh, had to add some blocking. I had to add a two by 10 because the stringers are gonna sit at this level here where this line is. Uh, so I just had to put some blocking back behind there to tie it all in together. And I've cut out the first stringer and it's looking pretty good. I think it's close enough. I'll probably cut one more using the square and then if that one's good I'll use that as a template. I'm gonna have five total stringers um, because I want to use the uh, decking and I need a stringer every 16 inches. So yeah, I just googled a stair calculator. I haven't used this one before, but uh, this one's on mycarpentry.com. And uh, it's pretty simple to use. You just add in your total rise. So my total rise was 25 and a half. And I was, I'm going to use this uh, 5 fourths decking. And yeah, it tells you your what your rises and your runs need to be. It tells you your total run and uh, yeah, pretty much everything you need to know. So yeah, I haven't built stairs in a while. It's been a few years and I've only built a couple sets of stairs. So definitely not an expert on stair building. And uh, I had to do a little bit of refreshing and watch a few YouTube videos because I had forgot. But uh, it's, it's really simple once, once you start doing it. So yeah, I'm just going to cut uh, four more four more stringers, so All right, so I got all the stringers mounted and I put some flashing tape on top of all the flat surfaces where the treads go. I just have these mounted in place using some uh, some brackets, angle brackets, and uh, two on each side should be plenty strong. So I've about got the stairs done. I'm just uh, finishing up the stair treads, and yeah, that's all I'm working on right now. Anyways, I had to have a stringer every 16 inches because I'm using decking boards, so I had to have five stringers, so it's just been kind of a slow process getting everything aligned, and but I'm almost done. So. Hey, what's up guys? So we've been working down here in our little kind of walkout basement underneath our house. 
and uh, we've just about got all these walls um, secured in place uh, we just finished anchoring them down to the concrete I still need to secure them up to the joists in a couple spots but after that we should be able to uh, put the sheathing on so I'm just gonna try to get that wrapped up and then we can go ahead and get the sheathing on hopefully we can get it all on there today I also had this little slab poured this is gonna be our bathroom um, we went ahead and dug out off to the side here and I still need to come in and, and make a little retaining wall uh, just maybe like a foot or so maybe 16 inches and after that we'll frame that up and yeah we'll have a nice little bathroom I was originally gonna try to put the bathroom in here inside this room um, but it just would have made it pretty tight in here and it, I figured it wouldn't be that hard just to add off to the side a little bit so I think it'll work out pretty good so my plan here is to cut this sheathing back some and uh, I want the sheathing to overlap from up there down to this lower floor just so this will all be anchored down here a little bit better and uh, it'll also make the house a lot more rigid this way see I just need to secure this top plate in a few more spots and then we should be good to go for putting some sheathing on good yeah All right, so we were able to get these three walls done. Turned out good. So when we poured these concrete walls, we almost busted the forms. Our walls got kind of messed up and they were bowing and buckling, but uh, they held together. But you can see here um, <clears throat> how much it's sticking out over there, the wall, the concrete wall. But uh, it shouldn't be an issue. You'll never notice it back here. And on the inside, it's uh, you can see this wall is bowing a little bit too. Um, that wall was pretty straight. But the way I framed this, I pushed it back. And we'll eventually come back and do some kind of uh, like tile or stone along here. And then we'll put like a top, little top cap of stone. And it should make it all just blend together and uh, you should never notice it. So I haven't put sheathing on this front side yet. Uh, I'm still trying to decide how I want to tie it in. I, I'm trying to figure out if I want to run the zip sheathing over these uh, posts and beams and like all the way up, or if I want to inset these walls back a little ways and just uh, sheathe them in there. So I'm still thinking about that a little bit. The issue is that uh, this, this beam is not perfectly square with the house. Um, so over here, you can see it's flush up there. And then as we go this way, this beam is uh, kind of kicked out that way just a little bit. The issue is that that zip sheathing up there is set in a little ways on that beam. So if I run sheathing up to that, um, it's not going to be flush. There is going to be a ledger board up there for the deck. So I might just go ahead and sheath up all the way up over this beam. And that'll just make this whole front section a lot stronger. And then uh, we'll put the ledger board on and that should kind of, the deck should hide the little bit of unsquareness that we have there. So the house is perfectly square. Um, I made sure to square it up along all the beams, on top of all the beams, whenever, before we put all the joists on. Um, 
but just the way these were all laid out, all my footings were laid out, um, this side just ended up being just uh, a little bit out of square. Up next, we're gonna keep framing down here. Uh, we're gonna frame out that little bathroom and uh, get the rest of the sheathing on there. Um, I'm picking up those eight by eight posts and uh, we're gonna try to get those installed for this uh, top deck up here. And that, those are also gonna support the lower deck too. So I really wanna get these decks done, um, especially this front deck, because uh, we need a way to get access up to the very top so that we can finish framing up there. Um, and that way we can get the rest of the sheathing up and um, I just want to finish all the framing up there and start uh, with the fascia and soffit and stuff so that we can get the roof on. Um, but I think it's going to be a lot easier once we have the decks there because uh, this deck's going to come out like 12 feet or so and then we can build some kind of scaffolding over there so we can have just uh, a good working surface to work from to get up there. And same thing on this side, there's going to be an entry deck for that door and stairs and that it's also going to wrap to this front deck. Um, so that'll give us access with ladders or some scaffolding or something to get up there and finish the roof. So that's why I wanna get the decks done as soon as possible, because I really wanna get the roof on. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave us a like and uh, subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.